What about us tonight? That's what water polo players are saying. As young athletes are allowed to compete in other sports, the pool is still off limits. Tonight, we spoke with one coach who's trying to change that. Mark St. John, a volunteer coach with Team Vegas Water Polo, wants to host a series of water polo tournaments in Las Vegas and Henderson, but he's been told no. Since the sport is not offered in local high schools, these athletes have nowhere to compete. In fact, right now, they can't even practice. But we're still have to stay six feet apart, no contact. Current state guidelines classify water polo as a sport with a quote, high risk of transmission. St. John says that is simply not the case and other states don't think so either. But we've actually had to have practices in Utah to have um, contact. Since water polo is played in a highly chlorinated environment which kills the COVID-19 virus and chlorine gas hovers above the water surface acting as an additional disinfectant, St. John argues there is an extremely low risk of transmission. I don't know a single person in the water right now who doesn't want to play in college and doesn't want to play at a high level. Harry Peterson worries about falling behind and it costing him a scholarship. Neighboring states, including California, Utah, and Arizona, are already allowing full contact water polo. And I can do all the drills I want, I can do all the shooting drills I want, all the passing, all the swimming. But what I really need to get in shape and prepare myself best for my future is to be able to play with my peers, get in there, get some games in. Nevada also once classified lacrosse as a high-risk sport, but it's since been reclassified. Coach St. John is now trying to plead the case for water polo to the Nevada COVID-19 task force. I'd like us to be treated the same way uh, the NIA sports are treated. These kids have chosen a sport that they love, but just happens to not be offered as a varsity program at their schools. And the Center for Disease Control reports no evidence of COVID-19 transmission through swimming pools. Coach St. John says that he took part in tournaments in Utah in January and February where more than 1,600 athletes competed safely.